Hi, today I want to talk about crucifying the flesh and putting down your evil nature. Dear souls, we are told that we must crucify our flesh by the power of the Spirit. Because if we live by the dictates of the flesh, we shall die. That's what Paul said in Corinthians. So I'm here to tell you, how do we crucify the flesh? How do we put it down? There is only one way, and that is to do what Jesus said, and deny yourself. When you deny yourself, you choose to turn away from what you want to do. You see, your flesh wants to do certain things. Your flesh wants to lead you into immorality. Your flesh wants to lie to get out of sticky situations. Your flesh likes to have hateful thoughts about people because it gives anger release. Your flesh likes to swear and curse because that gives a release of anger. Your flesh likes to do sexual immoral things because that gives release to your sexual nature. Dear souls, we are not to follow these dictates of the flesh. We are not to follow what it desires and what it wants us to do. Because that way it ends in death. It does. It's true. And only Jesus can free you from the power that your flesh has over you. So first you must deny yourself of wanting to go its way. You've got to deny yourself of wanting to gratify the flesh. And instead ask Jesus to come and help you and he will. Because when you deny yourself and focus on Jesus... He himself will come into your life and he will free you and give you the power to crucify the flesh by the power of the spirit. You know, it takes a spiritual man to go and pray and spend time in prayer all day. It takes a spiritual man to turn away from a desire to lust after somebody. And dissolves. it takes a spiritual man to turn away from lying in the heat of the moment. It takes the strength of the spiritual man, which is through the power of Christ, to turn away from sin when you are tempted to do it. And so, when we deny ourselves of our love of sin within, when we deny our evil thoughts and reject them, when we deny what comes up and arises out of the heart of the flesh, and we do not gratify its desires, even though those desires will rise up. When we deny them, dear soul, then we will be following Jesus and doing what he said, which was to deny yourself and come follow me. Are you denying yourself today, or are you gratifying your flesh? Are you doing what it wants to do? It wants you to do certain sins today to gratify itself. Are you doing those sins? Your flesh wants you to look at certain pictures to make you feel good. Are you doing that? Your flesh wants you to go and get angry at your relatives or your family because that is a release for you and justification in your eyes. Are you doing that? Dear souls, we are to reject these things. It's the hard part is to reject what your flesh wants to do and instead follow the Spirit. And you will have the power by the Holy Spirit to put to deeds to death these deeds of the flesh, and you shall indeed live. So I implore you today, get on your knees and pray to the Lord Jesus Christ, and ask him to give you power over the flesh, and deny yourself today of all love of sins. Every time the situation arises, and your flesh arises, choose Jesus instead today, and deny this thing. Turn away from it and deny it. And you will be following Jesus this way when you deny yourself and follow him. And you will follow on the narrow way that leads to the kingdom of heaven. Dear souls, those who do not deny their flesh cannot enter the kingdom of heaven.